Hi, welcome to Fusion Beads. Today I'm going to show you how to create the Wrapped in Jewels bracelet. This bracelet uses stunning Swarovski crystal stones in prong settings strung up on stretch cord. It's a quick and easy design that you can wear for any occasion. To make this bracelet, you're going to need size 11 metallic silver round Japanese seed beads, 13 of these 12 millimeter azure blue Swarovski crystal cushion fancy stones, and then 13 of the 12 millimeter rhodium settings for the stones. You're also going to need two two by two crimp beads, 24 inches of stretch magic elastic cord, nylon jaw pliers, chain nose pliers, and scissors. You can find all of these product links in the description below. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so to make this bracelet, you wanna cut two 12 inch lengths of your stretch cord. You can set one aside. So you wanna take one of those 12 inch lengths. And I like to use a little stopper bead at the end, and this will just prevent the beads from falling off. Okay, so first, you want to take one of the settings and you're just going to go right inside. You can see there's two holes. Those will be the top and the bottom hole. So we're going to go through the top. Just right inside there. And then we're just going to string one seed bead. And then with the next setting, you're going to go through both top holes. On the, and you're going to go through the inside. Just like that. String that down. Add another seed bead. And again with the setting through that top, the inside of that setting, and then go through that second top hole. String that down. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat that, adding a seed bead between each of the settings going through the top holes until I have 13 of these settings in a row. Okay, now you can see I have all 13 of the settings strung up onto that stretch cord. So from here at the end, you want to make sure you end with a seed bead. And then you want to bring the end together and, up that, and then through that top hole, you just want to string the end. Okay, so then from here, you have So you want to take the crimp bead and you want to string both ends through. So that first, the first end, and you're going to bring the other end, go right through, and you just bring those down. Then you want to take your chain nose pliers and we're just going to squish this crimp bead flat. It's just right inside there. Just grab that crimp bead and just give it a good squeeze. And that's just going to flatten right inside there and it's going to sit 
just right inside this setting here, this first setting that you strung. Okay, so you just want to cut, cut those tails. Okay, so then you have that stretch cord strung through the top holes of your settings. So now we want to take our second 12 inch length and this we're going to go the same as we did for the top holes. We're going to go through, we're going to go inside this first setting and go through the bottom hole. And again, I'm just going to put the bead stopper at the end. Okay. I'm going to string seed bead. Bring that down. And then we're just going to go through the next setting, go through that next setting, the bottom hole, and you're going to go through the bottom hole on the other side. Just string that through. So the seed beads are just going to be strung and sit right in between each setting. And the stretch cord is just going to be sitting inside each of the settings. So when you put the crystal on, you won't see any of it through the top. Okay, so again, string a seed bead. And go through the next setting, the bottom hole. And through the bottom hole of the other side. Just okay, I'm going to show that one more time. String your seed bead. And just go through bottom hole of that next setting over to the other side through that bottom hole. Okay, so you can see that it's starting to come together. The top and the bottom strands being strung up with seed beads in between each setting. So I'm going to go ahead and continue adding a seed bead and then going through the settings until I get to the end here. Okay, so I've strung up that whole bottom row. And what you want to do is just once again, so you're going to string that last seed bead and then go through that first setting that was added. I just go through that first hole, bottom hole. Well, there we go. Um, and then you just want to do the same thing you did with the top, which string your crimpy. through that strand and then take the other side, go the other direction. Okay, just pull that tight. Okay, 
and you want to just make sure that it's snug. So hold those ends and then take your chain nose. You just want to squeeze and crimp that crimpy down. Okay, so then again, just want to cut off ends. Okay, and there you have the settings all attached and strung up on your stretch cord. So now all you want to need, so now all you're going to need to do is add your Swarovski stones. So to do that, you take nylon jaw pliers, then you want to take your Swarovski stone, and you can see that the crimp beads and the stretch cord are just right inside that setting. And you're gonna put that setting right on top. Just hold it in place with your finger. And then take your nylon jaw pliers. And then these nylon jaw pliers help from scuffing or marring your wire or your setting so you won't get any dings or anything on it. So you want to just take these pliers and then just press down on the prong settings. And then I like going corner to corner, side to side. So you did this side here. Then I'm going to do the other side. And this top one. Just push those prongs down. Okay. And so now that setting is holding that Swarovski crystal cushion stone just right in place. And you can see inside there the cord and the crimp beads are just nicely tucked in. Do that one more time. So just gonna place that crystal right in that setting. Just hold it with your finger, your thumb. Take your nylon jaw pliers, just press down on that prong. And then go to the other side, press down. So as you can see, that just holds them, those prongs, these settings hold them right in place. So I'm going to go ahead and add the crystals to all of these settings here. And I'll be right back. All right, as you can see, I've added all 13 of the Swarovski crystal stones to the settings. And now you have a new Swarovski crystal stretch bracelet to add some sparkle and color to any outfit. You can find all of the tools and materials to make this wrapped in jewels bracelet at fusionbeads.com.